Hello everyone, welcome back. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. We're going to do a beer review while we're at it. We're going to do another one from Lakefront Brewery. This is Cream City Pale Ale. A full-bodied pale ale from the days when Milwaukee's brick buildings earned the name. Brewed and canned by Lakefront Brewery, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I did my homework on this one. I looked it up on the website. This one, the ABV is 5.1% and the IBU is anywhere between 26 and 29. And it said on their website that this one is also in the graveyard. So this is, so I guess that's what they mean by retro. They're bringing back some retired varieties. So if you're a can collector and you get these, save the cans because... If it says it's in the graveyard, they, you know, they pull the card to pull it out of the graveyard to show it, to share it with you. However, we don't know how long it's going to be back, or at least I don't. And the can says, please recycle me. I want to come back. <laughs> it doesn't want to go. Okay. So, let's give this one a try. And I... Just previously uploaded a short video of my partial Amazon haul. Uh, like I said, my cart was full and I had to emp almost completely empty it. And I'm coming to, speaking of pulling things from the graveyard, I have to pull things out of my Amazon graveyard, as it were, to put into my cart because the way money is right now, especially with having to pay the tax lady I can't do a full cart. I have another cart. I have the cart reloaded to the tune of 120 something. One of those is not my bookshelf yet. However, I do want that Paolo Barbieri fantasy cat art book because you saw the calendar that I had in my old apartment and I was absolutely in love with that artwork. I want that book. So I'm for like 126 bucks. I will find a way to make that happen. I don't care what I have to cut. That's not bills. If it's not a necessity, I'm going to cut it just to get that book and the rest of those band-aids because band-aids are a necessity. Art books may not be a necessity, but art is important. So next haul should be a couple more boxes of band-aids and a book. And then I will eventually dig back into the Timu <laughs> cart and pull some of that nonsense out and do uh, can be used as... Oh, and speaking of digging things out and searching around, um, Black Friday has done a review of Romwe, and that's some spotty hit and miss, good stuff, not so good stuff. So if I can find anything that I can wear to work, I might go ahead and order from them as well at some point. But I've got so many other shopping carts with stuff in that I need to take care of first before I fill any more shopping carts. So... That's the distraction for this video. <laughs> now to the beer. It's a lovely color. It's kind of a orange. At the light here is not that great. It's not hazy really might have a slight haze to it but it's not a india pale ale it's a pale ale so it is hoppy this is this is like i said like it said is hoppy retro pack so these are retro beers and i kind of wish they would bring them back they're good mm. smooth i can see why they call it cream city it's very creamy very, very nice. It somehow manages to create a balance between being smooth and creamy and and hoppy. Again, I forgot to mention with these like I had with most of the other beers, was it drinkable or sessionable? I forgot about that. I didn't do that with um, 
a um, IBU. That one was very drinkable, but not very sessionable because, of, if I recall, it was a higher ABV on that one. So you want to pace yourself with that one. So I need to remember, I need to slow down and remember to be consistent like I was. I was trying to do, you know, I was just doing these, like I said, a long time ago, I started doing only Halloween beers, like Hobgoblin and all the pumpkins. And then it gradually went into as the craft beers boomed in Albuquerque. I did more of those. So it became more of a year round thing with unusual beers. These are not unusual per se, but they are retro and in the graveyard. So basically these, these are throwbacks, which is unusual. You can't see them too often. They're kind of rare, dare I say. It doesn't say limited edition. Maybe they'll pull them back out again. I don't know. I don't work for a brewery. So it still kind of fits in the unique category. But anyway, beers in general, last couple of years I had tried to, again, like I said, mention if these were drinkable or sessionable, and I dropped the ball on this one. And the last couple of beers I did, actually, I forgot to mention that. So, yes, at 5.1, it is sessionable. Um, you could probably put this in a mixed flight with other other pale ales if you can get the 12 pack, maybe some other 12 packs and mix them together or get just get this hobby retro pack and make a mixed flight out of that. And then you can try all the retro beers from Lakefront. So you can make a mixed flight just with these and you can compare and contrast Again, yes, it's smooth and creamy. I can see why, like I said, I can see why they call it Cream City. It's a smooth, creamy beer. It's hoppy, but it's not bitter. It's pleasant. And it almost has a slight sweetness to it afterwards. And going back to my old ratings, it's definitely a hit. It's definitely sessionable. sessionable. It's definitely drinkable. If you can get this pack, get it while you can. Get it while it lasts. Because, again, I'm not a beer aficionado. At least not of the professional. In the professional sense. But I've been drinking beer for quite a while, and I've been doing beer reviews for a few years now. And I'm dabbling. I'm still an amateur, but I try. So don't take my word for it. Give it a try if you can find it. Again, it's Lakefront Brewery, and it is Milwaukee. So if you're in the Wisconsin area and you can get this beer, get it before it's gone. I'm going to let you guys go. If you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the notification bell once. And if you want notifications, hit the bell a second time so you can stay up to date with what's going on. Feel free to comment anytime you like, but keep it friendly. Ooh, excuse me. Um, share these if you want as well. So on that note, we made it to a new year. Happy New Year. <laughs> if you haven't already watched my first video of the year. And again, like I said, I apologize. I forgot to mention the sessionability and the drinkability on the last beer. And now that I think about it, like I said, several beers I forgot as well. So I need to slow down and think while I'm doing these. So anyway, I'm all over the place. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell. Um, yeah, um, don't drag and drive. Drag responsibly, take turns driving the hearse and give the DD a turn when they want one because des designated Draculas might want to drink too. And as always, remember your large parasol and your 100 SPF so my vampires don't turn to ash because I want to see you next time. Bye now.